everybody. This is my second video. The first video we've been talking about uh, basic chess strategy. And I explained about, in my first video, about center. And uh, in this video, I want to show you how to play with black pieces. Uh, if you got a black color, how to react to if white will take control of the center. Uh, usually beginners, they struggle because of F7 square. Why? This square is the weakest one because it's only protected by the king. If white develop bishop to c4 and queen to f3, the next move will be queen or bishop f7 checkmate. So the simple, very simple solution to stop this kind of checkmate is to play French defense. Why? In French defense, black challenge with uh, the first move is e7, e6. Black will challenge white center after white play d2, d4. The next move is d7, d5. We attacking this pawn on e4. White, the next move for white is usually knight c3 and black has like three main, three main uh, variations in this position. Bishop f8 to b4, knight g8 to f6, or pawn d5 takes pawn on e4. Let's play the first move. After bishop to b4, this knight is a uh, king and uh, this pawn is under attack so white cannot move this knight because will be check and if black will take this pawn is lost so usually white will push this pawn to avoid losing it and black will attack c7 to c5 is the black is keeping pressure on white pawn d4 which one is in the center so we gave up center by playing e6 d4 but now we are attacking usually black is attacking on queen side this side of the board so the white will play a3 is like the best uh, move for white so after black will take knight pawn will take knight a uh, pawn will take bishop and black has two options in this position black can play knight to e7 or Queen to c7 if we want to sacrifice pawn, which one I will show you later. Let's play the safest variation for black, knight e7. If white will move queen to g4, this queen is attacking pawn on g7. We can, if you don't want any complications, you can just castle. This is the safest way or if you want to uh, fight with white you just play queen c7 and white will take pawn this is attacking this rook so you need to move this rook of course white cannot take it because it's protected by knight so white will take pawn on h7 but now you have powerful move c5 to d4 and, and what we can say about this position that white has extra pawn 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 
for one, two, three, four, five, six. But white will lose one pawn for sure. This pawn is hanging, is under queen attack, and this pawn is under pawn and queen attack. So whatever white will do, we lose one pawn. If we take c3, take d4, for example, because you want to protect this pawn, then it's coming queen check, and, and white will lo lose uh, rook on a1. So white cannot take this pawn. So the only way is to protect, either bring queen back, but we still can take this pawn on the other one, or put knight here to protect at least this one. So, uh, so black has some kind of uh, advantage here. We, we develop this knight later to c6, bishop, and we can castle queen side. Let's go back to our original position. Okay, this is uh, instead of bringing bishop here to b4, we can put pressure on e4 square, we can develop our knight to f6. Now, this pawn is under attack by knight and pawn, and is only defended by knight. So, white has two options to move this pawn here. So, now pawn is attacking knight, so knight need to go back to d7, don't forget, never bring knight back to g8, because that will be like backwards. And plan for black is to move pawn c7 to c5, followed by knight c6, queen b6, and we will keep pressure on this pawn. If white will play different, if white will move bishop to g5, then you can move your bishop to e7, and next will be castle, or if white trade, you trade, or if white push pawn, then you go again to d7, and after take, take, and then c5. So, whatever we do, we always play c5 to attack d4 square. The other option for black is to take this pawn on e4. So, white will take with knight, and now we play knight d7, and our idea is to put this knight on f6 and, and we attack by c5. This pawn will be protected by knight and bishop. The other move for white, instead of move knight to c3, will be knight to d2. This one is not powerful like c3, because knight, if knight is on c3, is attacking d5 square and protecting e4. This knight is only protecting e4 square, but there is no pressure on d5 square. So, uh, we don't need to be worried, we can just attack right away on c7, c5, followed by knight, and if white will take pawn on d5, you have two options. You can take with pawn, and then this bishop will be free to go, or you take with queen to, 
to put more pressure on default square. So you guys see that everything, everything changed. Before white was the one white control center. Now looks like after just two moves, black is the one who's controlling center. The other option for white is to push this pawn to e e4 to e5. So if you remember our previous variations, we just follow, we attack right away. c7 to c5, we, we attack pawn on d4. And the next move, knight c6 and queen b6, so we, this queen will put pressure on a, uh, a7 g1 diagonal and pressure on b2, so this bishop cannot leave because queen will take this pawn. If white don't want any complications, white can just trade we take with pawn, and now we can play symmetrical game. We just develop pieces, cancel, and you guys see that black has no problem in this position. We can, we still can continue play symmetrical. Like black is doing fine, we can prepare like this or like this. So you guys see that uh, because of French defense, black don't have any issue about defending f7 square because of pawn on uh, e6 this pawn on e6 is protecting is protecting this diagonal a2 to g8 so I, I believe that this will, uh, will be your next uh, weapon and when you, when you play online you can practice all variations and you, if you have any questions leave comments, let me know what, what, uh, what you need to learn so I will post, uh, I will, of course I will post more videos uh, I will reconsider your your ideas, what you need me to post. Please don't forget, of course, to subscribe. Thank you so much.